night hike, sh night hike shenanigans begin. Everybody's got glow sticks. Get the aqueduct done. Whoop, whoop. Look at this little guy. Little kangaroo mouse. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no, there he goes. I scared him off. Welcome to the LA Aqueduct, where you actually just hike on a pipe. And glow sticks. Makes night hiking always more fun. Good morning, y'all. After, you know, definitely not just starting. Um, after a little bit of night hiking, just to get out of the heat. I think I might make that my normal schedule. Maybe not two in the morning. Um, maybe not quite so early, but start hiking a little bit earlier. Nap in the middle of the day when I can find some shade. I'm about to hit, which is actually pretty crazy right now because um, 17 miles that a uh, group was trying to get to. And I haven't stopped for a break yet just because they hiked ahead of me and I was like, well, eventually they'll stop to take a break. They'll try and catch up. And then they did, but as soon as I got there, they were getting done with their break. So I was just like, well, whatever, kept going. So I guess my plan right now is just 17 miles, no break before, mm, before eight o'clock for sure. Maybe before like 7.30. I don't think I'll be getting it done before 7. We got a couple miles left. Um, I'm definitely feeling it. This is really dumb to not take a break. You should, but... Well, I don't really want to take a break like two miles out, so... Here I am. It's pretty nice, though. Get a real beautiful sunset... Or sunrise. Not a sunset. It's the morning. And... Yeah, I'm not really sure... 17 miles is a bridge, offer some shade. Probably just gonna hang out under that for a bit. Um, wait until this evening. I know. <laughs> like, no one in our group got like really any sleep. So, we're all pretty, pretty tired. Myself included. And get a nice long middle of the day sleep. And roll out again tonight and do some night hiking again. Um, <laughs> I think they're kind of you know, even more insane than I am, which is saying so. Uh, but they're talking about leaving tonight and then just push, pushing all the way to the hatch be, be like, I think 32 miles uh, through the night to get there and then the morning. I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with, this, with that, but I guess I'll try. I don't know. I don't know what my plan is. You know, it's always fluid on trail. He's kind of make it up as he goes. So, uh, the night hike was a lot of fun. Um, haven't done that yet. Got to see a couple cool little critters and stuff that only come out at night. And yeah, that's about it. I guess I will see y'all later. Probably after my nap or my sleep i don't know what i'm calling this i'll call it a nap after the nap then i'll take off again and probably see y'all then so oh, until then later i don't know if y'all can hear me at all but i uh i mean i think the like america's biggest or the world's biggest or the world's second biggest some giant wind that we, I guess, siested by. We like camped underneath this bridge that ended up being a wind tunnel and no one got any sleep. And it was kind of a horrible nightmare the whole day, but it was also super hot. This is a real rock in a hard place moment. So, a couple people hiked out, a couple stayed. I stayed late in the afternoon and hiking. And it's windy, and it sucks, and I don't like it, and I hope you can hear me at all, and I'm not just wasting my time, but you can hear the wind, but 
See the wind farm all behind me. All behind me. That is awful. I'll see y'all later. Well, it's time for bed. I'm in camp and it has been a less than stellar day. Uh, if you can tell by just a bit ago with how windy it was and kind of got down into this valley to get out of the wind and it's still windy. I'm sure you can hear it. I'm not looking forward to tonight, but there's nowhere to go. I don't think I can hike anymore. I've gotten like four hours of sleep in the past two days of hiking, I think. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Since I woke up, woke up, 20 into hiker town, got like two hours of sleep, and then hiked out another 17, and then did say so for like 43 miles, and I got like three or four hours of sleep. I'm not feeling it. I'm not. My, my legs hurt. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. I'm probably gonna be out in like an hour, and I'll hopefully wake up early and hope the wind has cooled down. And I want to get in the town and take a zero. And luckily, Tehachapi's coming up, and I can get there and get some much-needed rest because I think it's been like. Oh, I want to say 400-ish miles, or almost 400, so it's time. It's time for zero. Oh, and it's time for the wind to chill out. Yeah, it's going to be a fun night, so I'll see you on the morning. Good morning, y'all. Another beautiful day. I'm feeling much better than I was last night. Last night I was so tired, worn out. I mean, I'm still worn out and tired. It's not as bad. Um, you know, got a decent night's sleep. The wind was pretty crazy still, but luckily it has calmed down a bit. One thing though, let me see if, check out those clouds. Like, it is so crazy. It's been such a beautiful morning. Um, sun hasn't quite risen yet. Um, got a early start and even still not even as early as I wanted to, but I got up and I was tired. Oh, uh, just when I say the wind wasn't as bad, I'm just, uh, I want to get into town so bad. It's a 25 mile day, roughly, just like slightly less. So get in take a zero, sleep in, enjoy the AC, and I'm probably, or no, there's no probably about it. I'm going to do nothing but eat and stretch and roll my muscles out because everything's hurting. You know, I talked about, you know, I was pushing miles. It was like, oh, I knew I would be paying for it later, but I also was ready to take a zero and kind of works out. And this has just extra motivated me to take a zero. So, you know, socked up some miles on the front end. And I can take the zero and not feel too bad about killing my average. Which I think is about 20 miles a day. Yeah, average. Which is just, that's crazy to me. I've been flying down the trail, pushing really good miles. And I'm really happy with it. So, yeah, I'm uh, well overdue for a much needed break. You know, just a day of being off my feet and letting my muscles recover. It's gonna be fantastic. And I'm very excited for it. Um, it is funny though, cause like I was talking about wanting to catch up to some people. And I did for the night hike. <laughs> as, as soon as I caught up, <laughs> they were a little bit more well rested so they are now way ahead of me but they're gonna be in to hatch me today so hopefully I can you know hang out with them get some time in town with some people and uh, have a good day it's, you know what it's all about so I don't really have anything else 
for the morning. Just hope, hope the wind isn't ruining this too bad. This is what I've been dealing with. Ah, it's so horrible, I hate it. Anyway, I'll see y'all in a bit. Once I see something cool, or whatever, I don't know. See you later. <laughs> Peace. So I thought I was done with the wind farm last night. I didn't think I'd be done with the wind. But as you can hear and see, there is far more wind farm. I'm so over wind turbines. I'm over it. It's so boring. Get me out of the desert. Uh, it's so windy. Look at him. He goes, I don't know. He goes so far back. Miles. Miles. Oh, God. There's a mountain out there though, that's cool. That's something. Some more wind farm, yay. What's up y'all? Um, here in camp, my uh, oh, pre-made, pre-done, paid for camp. <laughs> I actually, uh, this is my zero day, I got in yesterday and I was editing videos and I was <laughs> got through and realized that I hadn't made I didn't make like a getting into town you know video that I usually make so make one now better late than never I guess um, but the zero was much needed feel like much deserved um, it was great to sleep in a bed and sleep in a bed again tonight it's gonna be very nice um yeah just spent some time got uh actually did some stretching and stuff which i should probably do more often and actually do that on trail um but yeah normal zero day it's been really nice um tomorrow uh i don't know how far i'm gonna go i haven't planned anything all i know is that so there is a water carry that i heard about um from a friend who hiked the PCT a couple years back. And he was telling me that there was a 35-mile uh, water carry up in this section coming up. Well, I was just checking, and because one of the water sources that is usually there is dry, it is now a 42-and-a-half-mile water carry. Um, and that'll be, I think it starts like less than 20, like 14 miles out of town. Is where it starts, then it ends uh, a little past mile six, or no, I don't know. It's somewhere up ahead. I should be hitting the beginning of it tomorrow, I believe, is uh, how it's going to work. So, that, that's, that'll be fun. This next section is going to be pretty great. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully it won't be as windy so I don't lose my mind, and... Uh, yeah, it should be some nice hiking. I'm so close to, so close to the High Sierra. High Sierra. I'm done with the first portion or with the first map of the PCT on Far Out. So I'm pretty pumped about that. And I guess that's really it. I will see y'all in the morning uh, when I'm hiking out. And uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all then. So later. <laughs>